Hi friends. So yesterday you know that I traveled to Batavia, New York to go to the VA clinic there and I wanted to meet some female veterans that are at a residency there for post-traumatic stress disorder. And before I say anything further, I want you to know that I am not a counselor, I'm not a professional, I don't work for the VA. I am just somebody that for the last eight years have worked with veterans in many different ways and they reach out to me. So they've bought and sold homes with me and they have shared their stories with me over the years. And as you know, I'm also the mother of two veterans. So today I just want to raise awareness to those that suffer with post-traumatic stress disorder. Um, it, it's not just for veterans. I know hundreds of police officers and firefighters and teachers and nurses and just everyday people that suffer with post-traumatic stress disorder. So I just want to share some information and if you or somebody that you know suffers with post-traumatic stress disorder, I encourage you to help them get some support. There are thousands and thousands of organizations out there. There's the VA, of course, but there's thousands of and thousands of non-for-profit organizations out there to help those that suffer with post-traumatic stress disorder. So with post-traumatic stress disorder, um, this is a pamphlet I actually got from the Hope Center for uh, women with post-traumatic stress disorder, but I thought that um, because so many of you are watching, watching me and following me around the country, um, I'm trying to just raise awareness to post-traumatic stress disorder. So post-traumatic stress disorder is a condition that can affect anyone who has been exposed to a traumatic and or life-threatening event such as sexual assault or combat. It does not discriminate. It's not a sign of weakness. Post-traumatic stress disorder can begin immediately following a traumatic event or it can surface long afterward. Stressful life events, divorce, retirement, death of a loved one, American war involvement, seem to bring it on and or make symptoms worse. Common reactions to traumatic events can include but are not limited to the following distress, fear, and anxiety, nightmares or distressing memories, irritability and anger, poor self-image, guilt, and shame, and loss of interest in depression. And there's other uh, side effects as well. The good news is post-traumatic stress disorder is treatable. You can learn to better control your symptoms, decrease their frequency, and severity and improve your quality of life. So friends, if you know anybody that suffers with post-traumatic stress disorder, um, I just read you some of the signs. Um, the women's residential program for veterans, uh, for female veterans, is for female veterans across the country. And it's called HOPE, H-O-P-E, center and this one this particular uh, one is in Batavia New York and I'm going to be interviewing a few more females but um, I do know unfortunately I know many men and women across the country that do suffer with this so one of my causes as I travel in this RV across the country is to not only thank our heroes for their services but I want to let them know that there are civilians like me and millions more that uh, just want to say thank you for your services, but also we are aware of post-traumatic stress disorder and my organization or any of these non-for-profit organizations out there are there to help you. So as I said, I, I'm a real estate rebate program for heroes. So I'm not a specialist, I'm not a counselor. I keep saying that. I get myself in trouble with some of these organizations because they think I'm trying to help too much. And so that's why I am disclosing you. I am by far 
um, anybody that you could even talk to about post-traumatic stress disorder. I am a listener, but please seek professional help through the VA or for um, the police officers, the firefighters, anybody in those categories that could be suffering. Whatever your department offers you, please, please get help. I'm going to continue my journey across the country in the Hero Mobile. I'm going to continue interviewing our heroes. I want to hear their stories. And so today is about raising awareness for post-traumatic stress disorder. Please, please share my video. Please encourage your, encourage your loved ones to get help. Sorry, I do not edit these videos. I just keep going on. I don't have time to edit. So if I mess up my words, it's just coming from my heart. There's no script. So, as I said, just please encourage those with post-traumatic stress disorder. If you know of any females, I happen to visit the Hope Center in Batavia. Please encourage any female veterans you know that suffer with post-traumatic stress disorder to contact Hope. Um, I don't have a phone number, but I do have a website. And the website is wwwvisn 2 Dot va dot gov. So that's www.v as in Victor, uh, www.v as in Victor, I as in ice cream, S as in Sam, N as in Nancy, number two, dot va dot gov. So please, please be aware and know that there are many out there that suffer with this for many, many reasons and encourage them to get help. That's my message today. Thank you so much. Remember, live your dreams and thank a hero today. God bless. RV Hero Gypsy. Please subscribe to me on YouTube. I need 940 more subscribers. Okay. God bless. Thank you so much. I always have a hard time turning this off. Sorry.